Hello, 60 and Me friends. This month we're going to talk about designing your home for aging in place. You know, most of my boomer friends claim they want to age in place and not move into a senior community. That's all well and good, but is it feasible and realistic? I talked to Dr. Rosemary Rossetti, Rossetti of Rose, Rossetti Enterprises as part of one of my Caregiver Smile Summits. She's the author of Universal Design Toolkit and her husband, Mark and her led the team that designed and built their home, a nationally acclaimed universal design living laboratory that they had to build as a result of a tragic accident that Rosemary uh, had uh, earlier in her life. Universal design is a framework that looks at living and working spaces as well as products so that we are creating products and services and spaces to accommodate people of all abilities, not segmenting design, say by age or medical condition. So no matter what your age, no matter what your size, no matter what your ability, universal design can accommodate you. Not only not all universal designs home are alike and not all builders follow universal design principles. So that's something to keep in mind. The first clue you get when you go into a universally designed home is, uh, especially if you're in a wheelchair, is whether or not the door is wide enough and that the threshold you can get over. You know, can a person in a wheelchair come to visit or come to live in that home is something you want to look at. Um, Rosemary, and we have a link to it in the article, designed something called the Universal Design uh, living laboratory and it's a prototype basically that people around the world use when they're looking at universal design and you can also take a virtual tour through a link on this article as well but we'll just step you through some of the things that she covers like step free entrances all doors without thresholds wider walkways hallways lever handles on doors and faucets various heights of kitchen counters full extension drawers cooktop set into the counter, a slide, side hinge microwave, side-by-side -side refrigerator, casement windows, an elevator to the basement, large bathtubs, curbless roll-in showers. Uh, the list goes on. You can read it in the article. So if you're intrepid, you can also check out her Universal Design Toolkit. So, you know, oftentimes people get accustomed to being in a home for 30 to, to 40 years. It was their family home. They've established all their connections and networks and they don't want to leave. Uh, Rosemary says you basically have to look at the budget and realistically figure out if it's worth staying in that home and retrofitting it or going to brand new accommodations. So what has your experience has been? Have you redesigned your home for aging in place? Have you used universal design? Or have you gone into a planned community or built a brand new house from spec that looks at uh, these universal design principles? Looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks.